This is called Simple Talk from a Simple Time. Um, I used to run Carolina boots. Uh, they blew out and I bought me a pair of these. Which were from Justin and I will never own a pair of Justin boots again. Unless the end of the world happens. I can tell you right now I haven't even had them in a year. And now though they were waterproof you can see. They're leaking right here by my big toe joint. And in my yard, you can see this is, uh, I, you can't really see it too well in this, this light, but my yard is pretty much, you might as well call it a bog. And I will never own a pair of Justin boots again, but let's, let's talk about that, waterproofing. How do you take a pair of junk boots and waterproof them? Well, if you can still find it, I don't know if you can or not, but um, snow seal. It's pretty much a beeswax that you cook into your boots in an oven. It's the old school way of doing things. And I'm going to crawl over all my shit here in the shed real quick. This was organized, but I acquired a bunch of more junk. I'm going to show you all something here real quick that is one of the best damn thing that you will ever come across other than snow seal check that out oh yeah this stuff right here i'm gonna tell you right now i bought a pair of cheap ass brahma bull walmart boots did the two-part treatment i did one extra coat of primer and one extra coat of uh, surfacer. And I was pretty much using them boots like waders. So, if anybody wants some really good waterproofing boot stuff, check that out. Because you will not be disappointed. Ugh. I gotta get this fucking place organized. I got more tools than I know what to do with. So, just a quick tip. If your feet are wet, it makes for a miserable day. So make sure, whether it's wool socks or plastic bags or whatever, make sure you keep that, keep that stuff entailed because even back during Vietnam, they used to make sure they gave out extra socks because it improved morale. Many blessings.